Hey everybody. Well, this is Artemis. It's a starship uh, simulator, which uh, you can play. It's always best to have up to six players, including yourself. So you and five other people, and you each uh, adopt or take over a certain station. One's for communication. One's for navigation. One is for science. One is for nav or um, weapons. Uh, you know, just like you would on a starship. Uh, now, I just got this, and why? Well, one, I'm a sucker for Starship Simulators, and another crazy thing I did when I got this was none of my friends play this game, and it's always best to play with friends. You know, buddies out there, people you can play with, and I know absolutely no one to play with. Because I know the guys I play with are in the first person shooters. They're not into this sort of thing. So, there's not a, they're not as, uh, I don't know, geeky is the word. Uh, I'm a geek. Uh, I love this stuff. So, I have a wide range of interests. So, anyway, these are all the uh, things you can do. The difficulty level, of course. The network update speed. You can leave at default. Warp drive, jump drive. We'll leave that warp drive. Sensors ring unlimited. You could change that 33 kilometers, 16 kilometers, 11 kilometers, 8 unlimited. Now you have invasion mode, elite co op mode, mission mode, and your missions, trials, whatever. Okay. I've never played. This is my first time starting, well, not starting it up, but uh, I just started looking at it now, sort of thing. I started it up earlier and just take a quick quick peek and it kind of confused the hell out of me. But I understand this concept. Uh, it's light cruiser. You can choose between battleship, missile cruiser, drag not, light cruiser. Now, like I said, I don't know all that much. I've been watching videos of it and it just looks fa fa really, really fascinating to me. And uh, anyway, you'll see up here your machine's uh, IP address. Now, um... It doesn't allow you the ability to right click so you can copy your IP address so you can you know tell your friends about it but obviously I mean if you are going to run a server and have your buddies playing with you you could just uh, it's always it, it, it's it's a it's a must you have to have either team speak or Skype or you know or uh, mumble installed so you can all talk to each other. The captain gives out the orders, you you uh, issue off your uh, your responses, that sort of thing. So you have to be in contact voice. That's that's mandatory, or it's just not going to work properly. Because this game is all pretty much based on uh, one knowing your station very really well and what you're capable of, and two being able to communicate. But anyway. If you don't want to tell your friends what the IP address is, and you just want to make it as simple as possible, or if your IP changes every time you start up your computer, there's a way you could do that. And I, ha I happen to use something called um, No IP, and I'll show that to you in five seconds. Okay, the first thing you want to do is go to www.noip.com. Okay. All right. When you reach the site, if you don't already have an account, create an account. It's very simple, very quick. So just follow the instructions that you come across, and uh, and you'll be up and running with this in five seconds. Oh, and after you do that, uh, download the software. So just click on download, and just download the software and install it as normal. Uh, just make sure you give uh, uh, it admin rights when you're installing it. All right, once you're finished uh, signing up and logging in, you want to go to host redirects. Okay, I already have a host here that I use. Okay, and what exactly what the software does is actually takes your IP and it uploads it, uh, your IP to this server, to their server which then anybody who types in say your address here like I made one called paranorbbs.noip.org whoever types that in your IP address will immediately redirect to your system 
to your computer. So no matter uh, if your computer's IP changes every time you start it up or changes every hour or so, it doesn't matter. It'll always keep it up to date for you and people can always find you. And it's free, by the way. So I wanted to add another host for Artemis. So let's add a host. Host name, Art um, I'm sure it's already taken, but I'll, I'll just going to put Artemis 1155 in. Okay, and now you can check your server. The no IP free domains, you can only use these. Now if you want to um, pay, like for enhanced domains, and there you go, or plus domains. But since I have a free server, I don't worry about it. I usually use noip.org because it's stuck in my brain pan. You want to choose DNS host. There's your IP address. It automatically checks it, sees it, and all that cool stuff. You don't need to put a part of a group. Okay? Just leave everything it, the way it is. Okay? Update. You might want to write down that address. So now, whenever I start up my computer and start up noip.org or the noip software, it immediately go out, see what's here, takes my IP address, updates, updates their server, and anybody that I give this IP to, okay, is going to be immediately directed back to my computer system. So I can host anything, and if I don't want to be bothered remembering what my IP address is or blah, 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 then all you need to do is give them that and that's all they need to ever have put in so anyway I've already made it everything's ready to go G give it about a minute like it says here to uh, apply the new settings now when you start up your no IP software all right you're gonna see this you're, you're gonna end up having to log in so it's going to actually ask you that. But when you do that, you'll be able to select your hosts. And here are the hosts, Artemis, the one I just made, and Pornar BBS. Now you can activate both, up to you. Okay? It doesn't really matter. Uh, if you have more than one, you can activate them all. You know, like I said, it doesn't matter at all. But uh, now that I've used Artemis, 115, noip.org, whoever I give that address out to, and as long as I have the software running, okay, they are going to be able to uh, connect to you. So just, uh, you can press the X key and it'll still be running. Okay, now that I showed you how to set up your own no IP, let's just go with this now. Like I said, I'm totally confused with this. I just am. And so I'm going to make tons of mistakes and I'm going to sound like a total idiot and so there you go and since I'm not playing any with anybody and I don't have any anyone that I know that would play this with me so let's start the game and that's what happens right there when you start your server okay now since I'm playing locally now I just started another Artemis or I started Artemis up again in order to since my server has already started I'm gonna start client because I want to play it so now <clears throat> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the IP address that I just made Artemis IP.org connect the server Let's see if it'll connect for me. It should connect. It connected to Paranor BBS that I had running. It should connect. Ah, it's telling me it's failing and it should not be failing. Oh, that's because that's not the name of it. 1155. No, IP.org. Connect to it now. There we go. Connect it. So, like I said, you don't have to send out your IP address anymore. You just uh, give them your uh, new H or your uh, just your simple address. Now, I'm going to try to position this so you can get both of the screens.
notes in here. My screen isn't large enough, so I won't be able, they're going to overlap. So I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. Now, uh, these are side by side. Like I said, my screen isn't large enough to really encompass all the stations. Okay, this here, you get to choose your ship, main screen, hell, what, these are the stations you can choose. Now you can choose, since I'm single player, I mean, I can choose all of them. Alright, but I don't want to do that. I want captain's map, uh, and helm, I think. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Ready to play. Like I said, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here. Captain. And what's this up here? That's us. Alright, let's head down here. Um, let's find out what direction this is. So you go to Captain, it tells you direction 204. Okay. As far as miss uh, missions or anything like that, I'm, I'm not sure how to do this. Uh, I'm sure there are enemies somewhere. Anyway, let's go to Helm. Uh, shields. Alright, what's that again? That's direction 204. So, 204. Click here, and this is your web capability. All right. Now, as far as anything else, I don't know what exactly I'm doing here. Maybe I should have put up comms. run by you by NPCs. So maybe I should have done that. Let's see what the options give me. Um, continue playing. Uh, options. <clears throat> Exit the console's choice screen. So let's put uh, comms up, science up, engine. Might as well put everything up just to see. Now the Game Master, I'm not sure what the Game Master does, but if it's anything that has, you know, tabletop games or, you know, RPG games. The Game Master sets up the rules and sets up all kinds of other things. Oh, okay. Cool. So I can do it without having to restart. That's neat to know. <sighs> Calms. We transmit to stations. It gives you the stations. Helm. Damn, like I said, I'm totally confused. How do I get missions? Player, cancel. Enemy, cancel. Station. Okay, please report status. That tells you exactly what's going on with them, obviously. I mean, red alert. <laughs> because I cannot see how would the name do I? No, it, see this thing here. I wish I had someone I can play that I can play with here with this. So I could try it out, test it out, that sort of thing. Captain. This here is 199. Helm. 208. Okay. Better be careful. I don't want to overshoot this. Of course, you have the amount of fuel and all that stuff. Engineering. 
helm. Science officer. Whatever he's capable of doing. Oh, scan. Okay. Okay. Nothing new coming up for him. Cause we produce another type one homie. We know. Oh shit. Transmit. Shit, what was the name of this? Let's slow him right down to nothing. Dude. Now, as far as enemies are, there isn't any. And I'm not sure how to get... Uh... Damn. Okay, let's shut down totally here. Sorry guys, that's DS38 that I'm at. DS38, um, no, not player, station. DS38, standby for docking. Transmit. for docking, request docking. There we go. Now from what I have watched on the on YouTube, uh, it looks really incredible. Um, like I said, you don't have to be part of, uh, you know, be in the same room, and as long as, as long as you have voice. And everybody can connect to your server. Uh, then you can play this all just it's really quite incredible I mean I just from what I've seen so far from uh, videos right now playing alone it's just a little boring oh there we go we have enemies F shields R shields so okay there's 279 so we gotta head out 279. Alright, let's get out of here. Impulse. We're gonna help them out. This this video is gonna be massive. So I'm using two types of software to break it all up, so. Anyway, let's see what we have here. Uh, science. Scan here. Alright, F shields and R shields. Now, I think I saw... Okay, I'm coming up on them soon here. Better get the helm. Uh, shields up. Red alert already, right? Uh, Captain. No, I don't... officer lock on or whatever Hell. here we go we have to help the station out and I'm not gonna make it now like I said I mean you could Uh, weapons officer, 
choose. Shit in a minute. How do you target? Auto beams, frequency, uh, A. much it now we have we have to go back here there's other people some baddies here obviously coming in to attack DS38 but anyway like I said you can play single player to step up but it's always best to have five other friends with you or five people that you know that you can play with so all I need to do now is find people to play with all right I hope you enjoyed this video it's just just my simple uh, like I said this is the first really time that I've actually tried this so there you go hope you enjoyed the video and uh, take care